Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live trading session and I am sailing. If you hear the noise in the background, that's because I'm sailing right now near Kofu, Greece. Now take a look at ZM. ZM is down more than 4% and I would like to short it because it's supposed to be gap and go. It's just failed to move higher. It's coming down a little bit. It's a nice reversal point and I'm shorting here 2,000 shares, expecting it to continue and come down in the direction of the gap. That's exactly what the idea of a gap and go is all about. You expect a continuation. You don't expect it to move up and close the gap. Came down, I'm up almost $2,000 took my partial here and just left uh, 200 shares. It worked out fine and again a very classic gap and go. Snow should be the same, it's down 4.8%. It just tried to move higher and it's normal. It's moving in the direction of closing the gap at the beginning and then very likely to fail. So you look for the reversal point, you can see that it slowly comes down at the point where I think it's going to continue. I'm shorting right over here which is Again, a short of 2,000 shares. It's playing a around a little bit, but again, you have to remember the stock is down now more than 5% and it slowly, slowly comes down and um, kind of takes it uh, a while to end sideways, as you can see here. Getting to my point right here, over $3,000, taking my partial and leaving just 200 shares. Actually got a little bit more than I expected. It touched my target earlier, but uh, I missed it and then it came down to a new low. So I got a little bit more than I was looking for. Tesla just moved over the highs. I love it as a long play. Take a look at the daily. Beautiful, beautiful technical formation. And it just, you know, moved over the highs and I'm waiting for the retest, which just happened now to buy it. So I'm going to buy 400 shares because it's more dangerous to buy stock on a retest. And I'm buying right now, I'm long Tesla 400 shares. Now, the idea behind it is quite simple. When you miss a trade, you'd never chase it up. You never buy at a higher price. You just wait for the stock to pull back down. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But very, very likely that it will because stocks are usually retesting the breakout point. So once they break out, then they come back down down, retesting, touching the breakout board, you have the chance to buy it again. So Tesla just did that. Uh, it moved up. Some profit taking creates the retest and then it now moves to a new high, which is what I was expecting. I'm up $2,000 and I'm selling 300 shares right now left 100 shares in Tesla, so that worked out really, really good. Now it's the daily, it's a combination of Tesla, a lot of people are watching it, and of course the daily of Tesla, it just worked out fine. Walmart is up also quite in a big way, and it reverses, and it should be a gap and go long. It's up 5%, and I'm about to buy, buying here 3,000 shares. And again, it's a stock that a lot of people are watching. It's Walmart. Look at the volume, 7 million shares. It just moved over the highs. I'm up $700. It's moving up more than $1,000. It keeps moving, not as fast as I was hoping. I'm getting ready for a partial. I'm up almost two grand right, right now, taking now, leaving 400 shares. So uh, Walmart was a gap and go long that worked out really, really fine. Now I've done a mistake. You can see that uh, Tesla, I left 100 shares and look at the way it came down from the highs, which is absolutely amazing. Didn't expect that. I'm down $800, which eliminates a big part of my profit, $900 moving out. So, you know, should have had a better stop loss in Tesla for my last 100 shares. Did not. Big mistake. As you can see the result here in Tesla, I'm up $580 and uh, I just eliminated over $1,000 in Tesla, which is just appalling. Anyway, I had four trades, uh, ZM, Walmart, Tesla and Snow and the end result is over $7,000 and that all happened really in just 30 minutes of trading from my boat near Greece, near, near Kofu, Greece. And you know what? It just doesn't get better than that. If you like this video, I will appreciate, appreciate if you give me a like. It helps my channel and helps more people like you uh, find day trading videos. That's how the YouTube algorithm is working. So I really appreciate if you find the time to click that button. And if you do want to subscribe, there's a button right here. And you may want to click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. Now, there's links right below this video 
to use the same platform I use, which is the Colmex Pro platform, which I believe is one of the world's best trading platform. But please, please, please start with a demo. Just take the demo. It doesn't cost you a thing. And just, you know, you have to remember that trading is extremely hard, much harder than it seems like. I mean, I'm making money here, but my results are very untypical. So please be careful. Don't risk. Trading is extremely hard. Most traders lose money. Start with a demo. And then if you feel like you know what you're doing, then possibly think about moving to a real account. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video.